There was a guy named Quinnell Jones to the left and Brad Downing to the center. Brad Downing and Quinnell Jones were filmmakers at Pratt Institute, and they needed a film to graduate with, a thesis film. And they decided to, to approach me to, to ask me if I wanted to be a part of this film on graffiti, this new, found, this new kind of art form for them. And I agreed. And I didn't know necessarily what I was getting into, but it would be actually my second great collaboration on the street. Myself and Brad Downey became very close. And, you know, Brad at some point, he went from the objective observer from behind the camera and jumped into the front of the camera as an active participant. He was so kind of enthralled by what he was seeing behind the camera that he also began to make work as well alongside me. And we began to collaborate to the same degree myself and Andre had collaborated back in Cincinnati. Now, Darius and Downey, as a collaborative force, we were able to put aside our egos and work together on a large scale. So this is one of our first works, which is right opposite the Manhattan Bridge, and it says, Clone Jesus. And to show you an example of to the degree which this was over the tops of the heads of a lot of my graffiti friends, I was talking to a guy, a graffiti writer, and he said, man, that's a cool piece, man, but uh, who's Clone and who's Jesus? <laughs> he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't understand that this was, this was a, called the Clone Jesus. But we also wanted to get a, a sort of participation with the audience, you see. This work is, is featured right opposite the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. And, you know, we, Brad and I went up on the hill one day where it was located and actually heard some people honking. So in 2003, myself and Brad went out to Berlin, Germany. Given the fact that most people in Berlin, Germany can read and comprehend English, we figured, why should we play ugly American and, and force everyone to read English? Well, we should start to do our graffiti in the native language. So what we've got here is a, is a magnifying glass, which we wanted to say actual size in German, which would be original Grosse. But we misspelled it. It says original Grosse, but that didn't keep most of the people that we talked to from understanding what we had to say. And they could appreciate that these bunch of Americans came over here and deface their property with their own language, at least, <laughs> <clears throat> you know. In another neighborhood in Berlin called Kreuzberg, which has a real history uh, of kind of anarchy and questioning of authority, every May 1st, these fools go out and throw Molotov cocktails, amongst other things, to express their dissent. For some reason, I don't know. But we thought we would try to, and we, we, would, we would try to show this on the wall with a Molotov cocktail flying, and it says, Aber Eis ist doch Kunst, which means, but it is art. Uh, we, we tried to say that this act of revolution is somehow creative, and the residents seem to have appreciated it because it's been there for five years, and every time I go back, it's uh, still there. So this taught us a good lesson, and uh, if you want to communicate to an audience, you have to approach them at their level.